I wanted to get this box as close over to this way as possible and because I saw where the air conditioner edge is, usually where the edge is, there's usually a stud right there at like a double stud. And when I ran the stud finder across there, I came all the way over to about here before the stud. I didn't really trust that. I, I checked it a couple times and uh, sure enough, it's over there. And so what I ended up doing, I didn't want to start cutting over there and find out there's a stud there and then have to patch the sheetrock or anything like that. So I cut it a little inspection hole like this. And then I just took a little piece of wire like this and I fished it in there to see where I could feel the edge of a stud. Sure enough, there's a stud over there. I can hold that right there with my finger. Whoops. <laughs> Butter fingers. Joe, come on. Let's try that again. Right there, and I held that across over there. Right to there, boom. Just where the stud finder told me it was, from there that way. So there's, there's the studs over there. So I know I can cut this all the way over there. Because see, if it, would, if it would have been there, I could have moved this over and then, and then remarked it, or marked it over to the left a little bit. So if you have a question sometimes before you cut in your, your whole box, get the general location, put in a little, um, inspection hole like that and fish both ways find the stud and then mark your box accordingly so that when you cut your cut in box it's sure to fit in there because last thing you want is to mark it out and to start cutting your your line at the bottom or something and then you hit the stud or uh, start cutting um, what I would recommend when you cut Here's another tip for you, all about tips. When you mark out your box and you're pretty sure that there's nothing there, you should probably start, not, not start cutting on a vertical line. Because if you cut on a vertical line, you may cut and find out you're, you're three quarters of an inch on a stud, let's say, and oh shoot, now I gotta move the box over. If you start at the bottom and start cutting that way and you hit something, Oh, uh-oh, that's where the stud is. Okay, I've only cut this. Now I can extend the line over this way, remark it, and then erase the line over here. Whew. At least I don't have to patch a sheetrock. You know, so there's a tip for you. Can't tell you how many times I've seen somebody try to cut in a box. Oh, I'll just put it right here. Yeah, there's that's no, no problem. And then they start cutting the vertical line first. And, you know, they just weren't thinking.